Tonight, work continues to link two sides of Franklin after last week's deadly tanker fire destroyed the Paytonsville Road Bridge. Bobby Bobo, the truck driver, was killed when the tanker he was behind the wheel of hit one of the supports underneath the bridge, causing the trailer to explode. Now, crews demolished that bridge along with another one that was under construction right next to it over the weekend. And since the accident, firefighters have been worried about emergency response times. Fox 17's Jen French tonight, live in Franklin, where the fire department has now found a way to work around it. Jen? The Painesville Bridge connected the east and west side of Franklin, but now that it's closed, not even an ambulance can cross it. It's why firefighters have set up a temporary command post on the east side of town so they can respond to emergencies more quickly. But now one neighborhood is responding to the firefighters who've been helping them. We've got barbecue, cookies. Michelle Sutton says the meals she makes come from her heart. Thank you. It looks great. Yeah. It looks great. Thank you. She and her neighbors are now making meals for Franklin firefighters for the next 100 days. That's the plan. <laughs> it's because these first responders aren't at the main station. They've set up a command post at the Williamson County Agricultural Expo Center. Oh, I haven't had wits in a while. Great. After a deadly tanker crash closed the Paytonsville Bridge, Franklin is split in half. An emergency on the east side would take firefighters on the west side nearly 20 minutes to get to. Before the crash, it would have taken them less than 10. They said that they needed to service the side of the interstate um, to be able to get here quickly in case of an emergency. It's a big deal for Sutton, who is a mother. It means a lot. Uh, just. I have a six-month-old son, and I know that our neighborhood has a lot of children. Though firefighters have went out of their way, they didn't expect neighbors to do the same. That's really going, you know, above and beyond what anything I would expect. I mean, if, if they brought down, you know, a meal a week or a meal every couple weeks, that would be great. But trying to do it every day, that's, that's, a, that's quite a task. Sutton says she has a lot more meals to make. You guys are welcome. Anytime. I'm sure I'll see you all again. For the people, she says, who have helped her city around the clock. The Neighborhood Association is also raising money for the Bobo family. That is the man who was killed in this fiery crash Friday. And also, if you want to find out how you can help with the meal train this Neighborhood Association set up, you can visit our website, fox17.com. Live in Franklin, Jen French, Fox 17 News.